Have you ever wondered why dogs seem to like us so much? Why they follow us around and seek out our company? In this video, we'll explore the science behind this behavior and offer some tips for strengthening the bond between you and your furry friend. But first, let's take a moment to appreciate the amazing relationship we have with dogs. For thousands of years, dogs have been our loyal companions, helping us hunt, herd, and protect our homes. They've also been our emotional support, providing us with unconditional love and affection. In return, we've given them shelter, food, and the love and attention they deserve. It's truly a beautiful and special relationship, and we're excited to explore it with you today. The Evolution of Dogs To truly understand why dogs like and follow people so well, we need to take a closer look at their evolutionary history. Dogs are descended from wolves, which were wild animals that lived in packs and roamed across vast territories in search of prey. Wolves are highly social animals, and they have a complex social structure that is built around a strict hierarchy. Within the pack, there is a dominant wolf that leads the others, and there are also submissive wolves that defer to the dominant wolf's authority. Despite their similarities to wolves, domesticated dogs have evolved in a very different way. Scientists believe that dogs were first domesticated by humans around 15,000 years ago, during the early days of human civilization. At this time, humans were beginning to settle down and farm the land, which created new opportunities for animals to live alongside humans. Wolves that were less afraid of humans and more tolerant of their presence began to gather around human settlements, scavenging for food and scraps. Over time, some of these wolves became more and more specialized for living with humans. They began to develop traits that made them better companions and workers, such as a willingness to take direction from humans and an ability to read human body language and facial expressions. As humans began to selectively breed dogs for these traits, they became even more specialized for living with humans. For example, herding dogs were bred for their ability to work closely with humans to manage livestock, while hunting dogs were bred for their ability to track and retrieve game. One of the key traits that sets dogs apart from wolves is their ability to read and respond to human emotions. Dogs are incredibly good at picking up on subtle cues in our body language and facial expressions, which allows them to understand our moods and intentions. For example, if you're feeling sad or upset, your dog might come over and nuzzle you or lay their head in your lap. This is because they can sense that you're feeling down and want to offer comfort. Another important factor in the evolution of dogs is their social behavior. While wolves have a strict hierarchy within their pack, dogs have a much more flexible and cooperative social structure. This makes them more willing to work with humans as partners, rather than simply as subordinates. For example, dogs are often used as service animals for people with disabilities, because they are able to learn complex tasks and work closely with their human partners to navigate the world. Overall, the evolution of dogs has been shaped by their relationship with humans. As we've selected for traits that make dogs better companions and workers, they've become more and more specialized for living with us. And that's what makes them such amazing pets. Their ability to read our emotions, work with us as partners, and provide us with unconditional love and affection is truly remarkable, and it's a testament to the unique bond that exists between humans and dogs. The Science of Why Dogs Like People so we know that dogs have evolved to be great companions and workers, but what's going on in their brains that makes them like and follow people so well? As it turns out, there are a few different scientific theories that help explain this phenomenon. One theory is that dogs have a genetic predisposition to be friendly and social with humans. Scientists have found that a gene called the friendly gene is present in dogs but not in wolves. This gene is responsible for producing oxytocin, a hormone that is associated with social bonding and trust. When dogs interact with humans, their oxytocin levels rise, which can help explain why they are so eager to please and affectionate. Another theory is that dogs have evolved to recognize and respond to human facial expressions and emotions. Studies have shown that dogs are able to distinguish between different human emotions based on subtle changes in our facial expressions. For example, a dog might be able to tell the difference between a happy face and a sad face, and respond accordingly. This ability to read human emotions is thought to be one of the key factors that makes dogs such great companions for people. Dogs also have a natural instinct to form strong social bonds with their pack, which in the case of domesticated dogs often includes their human family members. This instinct is thought to be related to the fact that dogs are descended from wolves, which are highly social animals that rely on close bonds to survive. When a dog sees a human as part of their pack, 
they are likely to feel a sense of loyalty and affection towards that person. Of course, there are many other factors that contribute to why dogs like and follow people so well. Dogs are naturally curious animals, and they often enjoy exploring new environments and experiencing new things. They are also highly trainable, which means that they can learn to perform a wide variety of tasks and behaviors that make them even more valuable as companions and workers. At the end of the day, though, what really sets dogs apart is their ability to form deep, emotional bonds with humans. Whether we're feeling happy or sad, energetic or tired, our dogs are always there to offer us unconditional love and support. They truly are our best friends, and it's hard to imagine life without them. The Benefits of Having a Dog as a Companion So we've talked about why dogs like and follow people so well, but what are some of the benefits of having a dog as a companion? As it turns out, there are many. First and foremost, dogs provide us with companionship and emotional support. They are always there to listen, to offer a cuddle or a wag of the tail, and to help us feel less alone. For people who live alone, or who struggle with mental health issues like anxiety or depression, a dog can be a true lifeline. But the benefits of having a dog go beyond just emotional support. Dogs are also great for our physical health. Studies have shown that dog owners tend to have lower blood pressure and lower levels of stress hormones like cortisol. This may be because dogs encourage us to get outside and exercise more, whether that means taking them for walks, playing fetch in the backyard, or going for a run together. Dogs can also be great for our social lives. When we're out walking our dogs, we're more likely to meet other dog owners and strike up conversations. Dogs can be great icebreakers, and they can help us feel more connected to our communities. Another benefit of having a dog is that they can provide us with a sense of purpose and responsibility. When we have a dog, we need to make sure they are fed, exercised, and given plenty of love and attention. This can be a great motivator for people who struggle with depression or feelings of meaninglessness. Finally, dogs are just plain fun. Whether we're playing tug of war, going for a swim, or just cuddling up on the couch, dogs have a way of bringing joy and laughter into our lives. They remind us to take things less seriously, to live in the moment, and to appreciate the simple things in life. In short, there are countless reasons why having a dog as a companion is such a wonderful thing. Whether we're looking for emotional support, physical health benefits, social connections, or just some good old-fashioned fun, our furry friends are always there to provide it. No wonder they say that dogs are man's best friend. Tips for building a strong relationship with your dog. Now that we've explored why dogs like and follow people so well, and the many benefits of having a dog as a companion, let's talk about how to build a strong relationship with your furry friend. While every dog is unique, there are some general tips and strategies that can help you form a bond that lasts a lifetime. First and foremost, it's important to spend quality time with your dog every day. This can mean going for walks, playing games, snuggling up together, or just hanging out in the same room. The more time you spend with your dog, the stronger your bond is likely to be. Another important factor is consistency. Dogs thrive on routine and structure, so it's important to establish clear expectations and stick to them. For example, if you decide that your dog is not allowed on the couch, it's important to enforce that rule consistently. Dogs can become confused and anxious if the rules are constantly changing. Positive reinforcement is also key. Dogs respond much better to praise and rewards than they do to punishment or harsh discipline. When your dog does something you like, whether it's sitting on command or bringing you a toy, make sure to reward them with plenty of praise and affection. It's also important to communicate clearly with your dog. Dogs may not understand our words, but they are very attuned to our body language and tone of voice. When you're interacting with your dog, make sure to use a friendly, upbeat tone of voice and use clear hand signals or body language to reinforce your commands. Finally, remember that building a strong relationship with your dog takes time and patience. Just like any other friendship, it's important to be patient, kind, and understanding with your furry friend. Dogs may not be able to talk, but they have a lot to say if we're willing to listen. In summary, building a strong relationship with your dog is one of the most rewarding things you can do. By spending quality time together, establishing clear expectations, using positive reinforcement, communicating clearly, and being patient and kind, you can create a bond that lasts a lifetime. And in return, your furry friend will provide you with all the love, companionship, and joy you could ever ask for. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you soon.